Hello you carving creatures, my name is Matt and I want to welcome you to the Crazy Cool Cat Carving Show. Okay, so maybe I had too much coffee this morning. Alright, so we're back in my shop. Last time we were here, we did some carving. And what that did is, of course, it made our machine dirty. So this time around, I thought what I would do is I would show you the method that I use for cleaning the Carvrite machine out. As you guys are probably aware, I'm a stickler for detail. Especially when it comes to maintaining your machine and taking care of it. I'm a firm believer in paying attention to the details and if you take care of it, it will take care of you. Part of that is to uh, you know, go over the basics all the time. What I've done is I, I took the uh, quick start guide and I laminated it. You can do this at uh, um, Office Depot or Staples, Office Max, some place like that. A couple bucks is all it is. If you don't want to go through that process, you can make a copy of it, keep the original in a safe place, and use a copy until it wears out. But on here, there's a couple of tips on cleaning, and I thought you just you know, ought to reference it. So uh, let's get to this. Okay, like any other project, having the right tools makes a big difference. So what I'm going to do is show you what I kind of use. First thing is I've got myself a shop vac. All right. Second thing I've done is I have one of these little mirrors that extend and you can adjust. Okay, and that's so that we can get in there and see what we're doing and make sure we get all the spots that we want to hit. Flashlight. One of two things here. This is a can of the compressed air, all right? You can use one of these things, or if you prefer, a little compressor, compressed air. Your choice on that matter. Here's a little brush. I'll show you it up close. This is a little brush that I made. It's just a single um, one and a half inch horsehair brush. On this side, this is a one inch piece and I just took the bristle parts out of it and glued it to the edge. This way I can get in there and clean this one or on the underside with these bristles here. And then we've got our damn kids. Alright, so these are our basic tools that we need for cleaning our machine. First thing we want to do then too is to unplug this. Alright, there we have it. 